All right. Welcome, Internet. Um, this is Minecraft Land Party, Season 3. And I'm going to go to sleep. Exciting way to start off the game. So I don't have definitive plans today. Um, I think I want to go caving. I found a cave and uh, I started to poke around it a little bit. It was a little uh, looked interesting, a little challenging. And I guess I harvested all this before I logged out. So all this stuff still needs to grow. Um, I had another wandering trader come by, and he and one of his llamas died in some powder snow. Um, but this guy survived, um, and uh, he might be useful to pack stuff around. So, so I kept them. So I've got him and my horse. I've got let's see, like a little bit more protection than these for what I'm about to do because I'm not going into the nether I'm not going um, whoops I'm not going into the nether and I'm not going uh, uh, not mountain climbing Oh, I have more emeralds than I thought I did. So let's do this. Let's make uh, some diamond boots and a diamond helmet. And then let's go enchant them. Just see what we get. Level one enchants. Some lapis would help. Should keep some in the chest in here. Let's see what we can get. Projectile protection, protection. Protection two isn't bad. Fire protection. Am I going to get the same things on here? Breaking um, protection three, but I don't have 30 levels. So let's do protection. Two on the helmet. Plus I'm breaking. Not bad. Now what can I get on the, the boots? Feather falling. <laughs> Projectile protection four. Depth strider. Projectile projection might not be a bad idea. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. And... Can I get some other piercing? Okay, no, 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 no. All right, so I'm gonna put this stuff back in here. Oh, uh, diamond sword, if I put this in, knock back and smite. Oh, no, thank you. And let's put these on. So now I have full armor bars. Nice. What else might I? I got a bunch of torches. I've got blocks. And oh, I don't really need this right now. Shovel might be useful. Okay, let's go. Oh, I started second floor. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it or how I'm going to lay it out. But that's the uh, that's the start of floor two. And I feel like I'm forgetting something, but got torches and food. I'm 
armored up. I've got a sword. Got a shield. Should be enough. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm hoping to do is come across more iron than I have been in my mines. Because it's a little bit of a pain. This is ready to harvest. So, I have to remember which mine shaft it went down. I started with three shafts, and the first one, I went down a little bit and then stopped. I think it's the first one I want to go down. And then, so this one goes down a ways, and then this one, goes down over a thousand meters and um, run into something. And then this one's a little shorter. I just kind of started that. In fact, I can see the end down there. Um, but this one, even though it's 12 blocks away from that, uh, before I got a thousand meters down, ran into a cave. And it's it's a pretty big one. And I'm not entirely sure why I'm not didn't run into it on the next one over, but um, we're not that far down. So we'll just uh, we'll head on down to where I get to it. I think it's three or four hundred blocks in, and so I've, I've poked in a little a few times lit some stuff up ran into some mobs uh, oh the other thing that would be really nice is I would like to get um, another piece of string I have two and I don't have a bow so having a bow would be very helpful for what I'm about to do so maybe I'll find a skeleton who drops one don't know Oops, keep going. Don't get caught on the doors. Yeah, mining mining this far down is a little bit tough. This might not be the ideal mining height. I'll have to uh I'll have to do some experimentation on that. Uh, I do have diamonds, as you saw, I've got Several blocks of diamonds. I've got a bunch of gold. Gold seems to be relatively easy down here. Um, but I'm not. Diamonds are tough. And the, the iron does not spawn much down here. Unless you find one of those sort of patches of tough that has ores in it. When you find one of those, then suddenly you're, you get crazy resources. It's a matter of finding one. Um. So that's that's what I've been that's what I've been doing here. All right. Eat. But I probably should probably should have swapped out my potatoes for steak. All right. So, here's I kept coming in here and finding mobs down in this corner because they would come down the water stream. They get pushed down by this waterfall. And hopefully I have this area lit up enough. I don't have to worry about mobs right away. But this area is big. Oh, skeleton. Oh, Mr. Zombie. And I was getting... Baby zombies spawning. You want to come here, dude? I'll take your bow. Check it back. See, I've got some of this lit up. I don't want to get lost either because this area is quite large. Oh, 
Oh, there's some gold. Okay. So yeah, with the uh, the light rules being the way they are, let's see if I can get around behind this skeleton. Might be able to. With the light rules having lava flows, oh, that dead ends. Having lava flows out here is convenient because it creates light and it makes it harder for the mobs to spawn. There's some iron. Okay, been up over there. Should probably put down some waypoints. Because I am going to get lost. Let's let's go back and do that before I get lost. <clears throat> Came through here. No, there's still a skeleton over there, right? So this is my way out. No. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm already kind of lost. Look at that lava fall. Uh, some redstone here. Redstone. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Pat. <laughs> Okay, let's um let's get away from that for a moment. That is very good news. We have mine shaft up here. So let us Oh, glow squid. Let's go see if we can get some glow ink or whatever you call it. Oh, this is my way out here. Somebody with some fancy armor. Okay, this is my way out. So, let's do this. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Oh, you have pretty armor. Oh, come on. Whoa. There we go. Okay, I need to light up over that direction. Is that, that's a that's a creeper. Okay, so let's slowly. Um. Okay, I hear more more zombie noises. Where are they coming from? So I have a creeper over there. Sounds like he's coming from over here. That is a suspicious looking patch of sand. Where's that gravel? Okay, I want to get this area lit up a bit. So I'm wondering if we have a spawner up here because I was getting all kinds of keep an eye on that creeper there getting all kinds of zombies and baby zombies and it was no fun Okay. There was a creeper over here somewhere. Oh, look at that glow lichen. There's some redstone and some gold. How big? 
big is this place? Oh, I need to go back into the nether, find a fortress. Whoa. Okay, I don't need that right now. Unless you want to give me your bow. No, he gave me some arrows. That was kind of him. Oh, I wonder if I was seeing... Whoa. Ouch. Oh, goodness. Okay, so that's where the uh, creeper went. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Thank goodness for the armor. I was just wondering if I was seeing the glow lichen in the distance and thinking that was a creeper, but no, I actually probably saw a creeper. There's some iron. This area, oh jeez, bat. This area is quite large, isn't it? Oh, there's uh, another enchanted boy. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. Come here. Let me, uh, let me get your, let me get your string. Ah. Okay. I have two pieces of string. That means I can go back home and make a bow. Let me grab some of this stuff before I head back up. Another zombie. It would be very nice to have a bow. There's a big vein of gold here. And I'm going to fill this in because I don't want to be stumbling into this. So let's eat. I don't know, I'm stumbling into this later. Oops, uh, that'll work. Nothing's gonna spawn down there. Okay. Pretty sure I'm over this way. There's my, there's my thing. Let me put down another waypoint here. And Oh wow, there's another geode right there. Oh nice, dead end area. Oh, although we can climb up there. Whoa. Yeah, so this is where having a bow would be handy. Come at me, creeper. I think I can take you. Relief having a little bit of armor. And by a little bit, I mean a full suit of diamond armor. Okay. Yeah, let's go. 
here. Some light over here. Oh. Okay. Little tempting diamonds there. Tempting diamond. Oh, okay. Um, one diamond is better than no diamonds. Redstone. So I guess this is like exposed ores. They might have done a vein that was larger than this if it weren't exposed. But uh, that's a couple iron. Better than nothing. And I wonder, like, if this tuff could have one of those sort of huge veins of miscellaneous stuff. I wonder if that's worth exploring. Although, I guess with the exposed surface, it would be more likely that I would actually see... Oh, there it is. Goodness. Okay, so I'm going to put down another waypoint here. over there. This lava is... Goodness gracious. Oh, and look at this. There's up there. Okay, and then here's my way out. Okay, I think I have that area blocked off sufficiently. I don't need to re-block off that shaft. Whew. All right. Uh, let's see. Drop off. I've got... Yeah. Some zombie flesh goes here. Bloop. Uh, i got a couple things of raw iron. Save those. I've got one diamond some arrows. I have more arrows. I know that. These bones can go up there. Actually, these should go a little bit more convenient, like here. I need this string. Glow ink sack. This redstone. Go there. And, oh, uh, iron rock or raw gold. And the same with this stuff. Shards can go. Oops. Can go there. Okay, so now I need some sticks, which I have right here. I have more bones there. All right, so I just got done doing a little run through the caves there, and I got another piece of string. I got a couple pieces of string, but that means I can make a bow and uh, put this string back in here oh so I still need lots more string but I guess with the bamboo I can make scaffolding so I actually have some scaffolds now which I I had all this bamboo, and I've got more outside. I've got a bunch more, um, but no string, so I couldn't make any scaffolds. So now I have six scaffolds, which could be helpful for the building. Um, okay. So, let's grab some more blocks. No, I think we got enough here. 
and spyglass. Let's bring the spyglass because that could be good. Let's make some more, some more torches. And let's see here. That's enough, right? Oops. Let me do that. And then I turn these into sticks. No, I could use a couple more blocks. A couple more logs. I said two, please. And. And then make more torches. Okay. So we got plenty of torches. Spyglass so I can look for stuff. Actually, more blocks would be good. Because that my that mine shaft looked way up in the sky. So I may need to do that. I'm gonna bring some more food. I have all these cooked steaks, so let's bring some. And let's head back over there. I think that's all I need. Oh, wait. Do I have more arrows? And do I have a way of making more arrows? I don't have feathers. I have six arrows. Ooh. Okay, maybe I'll get some more. And this is where having a Fletcher villager would be very handy. So maybe, maybe next we go back to one of those villages and see if we can secure and uh, start trading with villagers.